Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Heat Ray Vision Podcast. Tonight, I got myself, Hector, also known as CN6. And with me, I got Hav. Yo. And tonight, we're going to be reviewing Sisu. Sisu. What are you seeing the... Uh in the trailer, right? We never yeah, got, bro. we never even heard it in the I'm, movie. I was just about to say, I don't think they ever said it in the movie. Yeah, right. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, I just want to let you guys know that you guys can listen to us anywhere on Apple, Google, SoundCloud, YouTube, and on Spotify. And make sure you guys follow our socials at Heat Ray Vision Podcast or go to Heat Ray Vision You're gonna see all of our socials, all of our links there. And um, uh, yeah, let's go, let's get into this uh review, man. Sisu, right. Uh, th- when I first saw the uh, the trailer, I know they um, they made it seem wh- what you, have you said? Uh, they said they it was from the studios of John Wick. <clears throat> yeah, it said right. something that like it was the uh, from the from the from the studio that made John Wick. And typically, trailers they put stuff like that in the trailer to get the people hooked. Yeah, to, like sh- to like be like, oh, you know what I mean. It's uh, it's mostly a marketing ploy mm. to get people to get hooked in the movie. Makes it's sense. like, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like uh, they show off a new movie and it's like from the studio that brought you, and then it'll be the movie title of a movie that was either really, really well received mm-hmm. or ones that like made a lot of money and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But you see, I was actually explaining to Hector that that doesn't mean anything. Like it's kind yeah. of it's a kind of meaningless because regardless if the studio put out the movie you know who are the directors who's mm-hmm. the writers the producers behind the scenes that are working on the movie just because you know as we've seen just because it's marvel studios doesn't mean everything's a hit yeah I, right i.e love and thunder yeah that'd be like watching love and thunder and be like from the studio that brought you avengers endgame oh shit it's lit right then you'll yeah. see a lot love and thunder and well y'all can check out that review but we weren't huge fans that's what I mean. I was just explaining yeah, to Hector that, like, promoting that it comes from the same studio, that you could always just look past that and say it's meaningless. Yeah, I, I who think, cares? I think that went over my head. I thought it was, like, like some writers or, like, something. I think that, that, yeah. that's now, what I thought. Now, if it's, like, from the director, right, or from the, or, like, from the people, you know. The writers of John Wick. Then you'd be like, oh, okay, because, like, then now you know the story. Yeah. Well, it was written by the people who worked on John Wick, which would, right. you know, make more sense. Um. And I think another one that I kind of dismiss, another one is when I hear, uh, I don't know if I should, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong for this, but another one where it's like from the same studio that brought you, you know, another thing that I also dismiss is, uh, um, it's like from, it'll say from so-and-so, someone's name, mm. producer of John Wick, gotcha, producer gotcha. of Endgame. I don't know. Right. To me, I'm like, man, what is that? Like, what, what exactly is a producer you feel me like you feel me like to me i never i never understood what a producer really does i think the producers they uh they like green light shit like Mm. if something's not good or whatever they say nah fuck that or like yes we gotta do this or that Mm. i could look it up real quick but like for a movie like the ones the people the big people the big people who um who what's it called really make a difference in a movie is obviously the director because the director handled everything He's basically creating a movie in his vision. And in second place, I would say would be the writers because the writers are the one that's writing the screenplay, writing the story, making sure the script's on point and Mm. all that, the screenplay and all of that. So when I hear like, so when you see a trailer and it's like from producer, blah, 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 who worked on this movie, it's like, man, but like, he's not, he wasn't the director. He wasn't the writer. Like, so what, that's another one that I kind of dismiss when I see it in trailers. And, uh, I just want to say, ignore the background noise, guys. Sorry. It's laundry day. All right. Uh, what can I say? It's laundry day, so sorry for the background noise. Uh, hopefully, it's not um, too much. Uh, but yeah, I found it right here. Hive. It says, a film producer is a person who oversees film production, either employed by a production company or working independently. Producers plan and coordinate various aspects of film production, such as selecting the script, coordinate, co- coordinating writing, directing, editing and arranging financing so mm, okay that's what that is gotcha, gotcha. so yeah i guess i was kind of right right the green lights and stuff okay. yeah um so okay so when okay so yeah i like i said javi said it oh from the from the studio from that brought you john wick to me i thought it said writers or something so i guess i 
overlook that and i was kind of hyping like, oh shit and then we saw the trailer and it looked it, it hooked me honestly i'm not gonna lie that tactic worked yeah for real okay oh shit john wick yeah and like obviously, I, yeah and like clearly you know it works and, yeah and it works and and truthfully man when you see this movie you could definitely see john wick like uh esque, esque yeah things, you know yeah. You, could, you could definitely see it right mm-hmm. um so okay so okay so i want to start off by saying uh the way the the way the movie uh, starts, I really liked, man. Mm. It was very like, I guess other people would say like kind of slow. Mm. Like we're we're like, okay, who is this guy? Like he's not really talking. Like what are we learning? And I like those movies, bro. Where, uh, okay, sure. In the be- in the very beginning of the movie, they explain what Sisu means, right? Yeah. And they and have has it up right here. Yeah, uh, I pulled up a definition. Yeah, can you read it real quick? So, um, first of all, they say that Sisu is a uh, is a Finnish word, right from Finland, that can't be that cannot be properly translated to English. So the best explanation for what Sisu is 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 that if uh, if you look it up on the internet, it says it is a uh, a grim white knuckle form of courage and determination in situations where success is unlikely, and then colon. A cultural concept of Finnish character and pride. Yeah. But I think the definition that we saw was the first one. So before yeah. cultural concept of Finnish, that, not that one, but the other one. Yeah, that's what they, that's what, that's how the op- the film opens up. It's like, mm. oh, Sisu, this is what that means, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives, a, there's like a narrator in the very beginning giving a quick summary of what's going on. And it takes place during the World War II. It's mm-hmm. near the end of World War II. Nazi Germany is losing. Finland is is pushing away the not is trying to push away nazis and uh that's where we're at okay the, the quick narration you know just what's going on and then we get put into the character where the character we see him in like in this field mm. this random field you know kind of like he's uh like like an outdoorsman type of vibe and throughout like the first maybe 10 or no like maybe 20 minutes dude we still see him there and like nothing's going on like there's no talking no narr- no narration mm-hmm, and stuff mm-hmm. and i like it and i like movies like that bro we're like they let they let uh it shows you what's going on in the in the movie right so mm-hmm. for example we learn from the jump without narration without whatever he's a miner and yeah, he's, he's a prospector looking, and he's looking for gold mm-hmm. right we see him in the in the lake right he's like you know we're like, okay cool that's cool what is he doing and he's out there with his dog and stuff and he's mining away and we're like, okay cool Another subtle detail that we notice is that, but uh, that he had a he had a wife. Mm-hmm. Remember that scene where like he's where and across the distance, you, all you see is explosions and like whatever the fuck, and he's looking at it like if he's getting some type of flashbacks. And then he, the camera goes to his ring finger and he has a, like that golden ring. Mm-hmm. No narration, nothing. But from that, we can infer. Oh shit, mm-hmm. he has a wife for one. Really easy, right? Not only that, he lost his wife to the war. Because mm-hmm. while the shit was going on, he was like, dang, he's looking at the bright flashes. He's, You hear the bombs going off, all these different things. He gets, like, a feeling, and then he go, goes ahead and, like, grabs his ring. And he, he gets, like, it's like, yeah, right? So we can infer as the audience, like, oh, shit, like, he lost his wife in mm-hmm. the war, or, like, whatever. You know? Like, stuff like that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Where, yeah, like, where it shows them not Exactly, else. dude. That I really like. And, like, not only that, I, I even mentioned it in, during with Hav, like, the cinematography in this film i really like too mm-hmm. there's a lot of cool shots like a lot of badass shots mm-hmm. and so yeah and so essentially the, the brief like summary of of this movie is this we learned that this person we didn't even get his name right till like later on uh like his actual name do we get his actual name oh no yeah i think we do yeah right? we do, like we do one we of those do. dog tags but is essentially this person who is used to be in the finland army right and he he was uh he left the war behind him. He said, I'm done with it. So now he's, you know, a minor and stuff. Holy shit. That's loud as hell. My fucking laundry is loud as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's because you got the headphones on. Yeah, man. It's loud as hell. But all right, guys, ignore that. But so we know that this guy, um, he's like left the war behind him. He's a minor now. Um, and fuck, where was I going with this? bro? That distracted me. Uh, oh, you were talking. You were getting a yeah, quick well, summary of the of the movie. Okay, Hav, can you take that away real quick? Like a quick brief. So uh, basically, we find uh, so so um, 
basically this guy's a gold gold prospector yeah and you know he's mining away on the fields and he eventually comes across um he actually ends up striking gold in the um in, in the field yes. and so he finds a whole bunch of these little gold nuggets and mm-hmm. he packs them all up and, and he takes it with him because he wants to exchange that for money and then later on in the movie you find out that this guy was like a soldier who left the war behind and all this yes. other stuff and uh what else happened then so they also explain what happened to his to his family no yeah so uh a group uh russian soldiers mm-hmm. ended up oh, oh, oh this is a spoiler review guys if you can see in the title but i'm just say right, right, right here real quick anyways yeah so we learned that the russian soldiers ended up killing his family mm. i think his wife and a kid or something yeah they're ki- yeah i remember they said yeah they were a kid. with a kid or something so ever since then he grew this like revenge type stuff mm-hmm. and he went after the russian army he started going crazy yeah and we later learned he killed he has over 300 confirmed russian kills yeah or whatever the fuck um but yeah that's what we learn and his goal is legit just hey i'm in the middle of a warfare right now right i'm just trying to get to the nearest bank mm-hmm. to deposit my money that's it and on that journey right we get the fucking nazis right mm-hmm. the nazis are like fucking with them and stuff and you know so in the, the first encounter that we get with the nazis they let them go yeah surprisingly so like they all stop they're like what the hell who's this guy he's mm-hmm. in a horse or whatever he's right on a horse yeah you know they let him go and stuff and we're th- me i'm thinking oh shit here we go right this is where it's at and no they pretty much let him go and uh actually one of them is trying to shoot him but the the, the commanding officer or whatever he's like nah he's already riding to his death mm-hmm. you know and we're like oh what the fuck and then we get that in first i guess the second encounter with nazis and this is where like oh shit this is, I think, where we see in the trailer. This is what you see in the trailer, yeah. Yeah, where he ends up fucking 1v6 motherfucker. these motherfuckers, like John Wick style. Mm-hmm. You know, he's out here going crazy. And the blood and gore in this movie, man, is pretty sick. Not gonna lie, dude. It's yeah. like it's out there, you know. And, and now that I think about it, bro, the all those Nazis that we saw in the movie, like the first brigade or whatever, the first um thing, those were the only Nazis that were in the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just yeah. noticed that. I'm like, oh shit! Like that's it. Like we, I thought there was gonna be a bit more or whatever, but now I get it. It's just like this, uh, uh, platoon, I guess I should say. And so he ends up killing the the first group of Nazis, and obviously the first group of Nazis are like, yo, what the fuck is that? So they turn around and they find out like, oh shit, my men are dead, and they end up finding a um like a dog tag that belonged to to our, the main character, right? And I forgot his name, bro. Do you remember his name? I don't. I forget. I like, can pull it up. Are you talking about like the ghost name thing or or like actual his actual name name? Well, I I mean I could just look up. Yeah, look what it up. His name was on because because so after that right uh after the, the the first groups of Nazis pull up and they're like oh my god like they killed my man whatever we got to go get his ass and he had gold they find out he also had gold with him, you know, um, so they're like yo we got to get that gold essentially. And the motive, I guess to me, it makes sense, bro, right? The motive to me, it makes sense of why the commanding officer was like, yo, we got to get that gold. He's like, hey, he explains it to one of his um, soldiers. like, hey, we're losing the war. Most likely, we're going to get back or we're going to get killed either way. Mm-hmm. That gold is our only way out because like, we'll be rich and whatever and we could flee or whatever. So then that is why they're after the gold, you know, so that's their motive essentially the commanding officer and like his platoon whatever did, did you end up finding it yeah so in the movie uh it's revealed that his name is atami corpi okay right um which i don't remember them saying that in the movie yeah me neither but i do remember them saying that um that they called him a uh a one-man death squad yeah and they gave him a nickname meaning the immortal and the nickname was koshi koshi yeah that was the one i remember hearing that one yeah 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 so that's what that means like immortal right and to me that whole explanation was hard because like obviously the commanding officer they go back with the tank right they're like no we got to get that gold and we are just explained what their intentions is and one of the uh one of one of his henchmen is like yo we just got order from a higher up it says hey let's get the because they found that dog tag and they explained who he was whatever and they got intel on him and that's when we learn he was uh he was an ex uh, military soldier, mm-hmm. three hundred confirmed bodies, blah blah blah, and he and the higher up is like turn back, don't even follow him, just turn back, get the fuck out or whatever. Mm. 
and they're like because you and he says it i forgot how he he put it but he's like just uh consider yourself lucky he's a one man death squad yeah, something like that yeah yeah and that was hard bro i like the i like that you have my like, yo that's hard as fuck like yeah. the way that entire scene was hard i'm like yo this man for real like even the higher up from these guys are saying yo leave his ass alone if you're alive consider yourself lucky bitch mm-hmm. but obviously the uh, other commanding officer he's like Meh. it's like fuck that it's like they call him koshi and we learned the immortal or whatever they're like man fuck that we need that gold and that's essentially what this movie is, man, is these groups of Nazis, the first platoon is after um, Koshi. And eventually, you know, they end up uh, capturing him. They end up capturing him and almost killing him multiple times. Mm-hmm. And they actually get away with the gold. Right. And then now it's like reverse. Now it's Koshi. I'm just calling him Koshi. That's fine. Koshi is now after them to mm-hmm. get back his gold. Right. And that's what this whole movie essentially what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there was definitely moments, bro, where I, there was a lot of moments where I looked at Hav. I'm like, how's he getting out of this? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> you know what I mean, Hav? I'd be like, like the first instance was the, um, fuck, what was it? Was the mines. Yeah. The that mind shit field. was crazy. Was Do you remember that? Fucking minefield. Yeah, yeah dude, this, this, dude, with his horse. Yeah. Explain. You want to ex- explain that a bit, bro? Basically. Uh, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Basically. Uh, the Ko- Koshi, right? Koshi, yeah. Koshi realizes that the Nazis are turning back and they're yeah. coming after him. So he rides the horse into like the middle of a field. And then um, the Nazis eventually stop chasing him as they realize where he where he entered. And then the camera just kind of follows the horse trotting on the floor. And then the sound all cuts down like it goes really silent. And then out of nowhere, the horse steps on a mine and fucking blows up. Full gore, man. You yeah, see bro. The horse and you blow see the, the horse up. in pieces. You see yeah. the rib cage. You see its decapitated fucking head, and it's like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this movie's rated R, yo. Like, it's it's yeah, bro. super. It was rated actually R. crazy. And so, and then what happens is like, the Nazis are just staying there. They're like, fuck no, we're not going. going we're not going to go in there. He said like, that motherfucker probably dead. Yeah. And uh, you know, I wondered, bro, why they stopped chasing them. Yeah, I was like, I was like. Why did they? Because the commanding officer, he's just standing straight with his binoculars or whatever. I'm like, he's not. They're just watching him get away. Like, why aren't they not chasing him? Right. And that's where like the hit, the shock factor comes in. Where all of a sudden we see the horse blow the, the mind, fuck up. Yeah. yeah, dude, that shit was crazy. And then we get that scene where um that we see in the trailer where the 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 the, the commander guy, the Nazi, mm-hmm. sends one of his men over to the field. Oh to yeah. To make sure that it's safe. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you just see a fucking mine falling from the sky hits the dude right on the head and he just fucking blows up <laughs> yeah, like it's a mortal dude. combat fatality that shit was crazy bro and then he sends two other soldiers to run in there and they're like just running there blind and they all just start running and they both blow up yeah they, they just use them as guinea pigs to yeah get the mines out. and they were just like fuck it and they all just start shooting yeah remember they all start they all just start shooting at at koshi but koshi has like this thing where he's just covering all the bullets yeah so so what it was bro is like remember he was picking up the gold and as he was picking up the gold, he picked up a rock. Mm. And as he had that rock, remember, he, uh, they were ready to shoot him, but he throws a rock at a mine. And all the mines like from that area blow up and create this mist. Mm. And that's when they shoot him. And then Koji, they yeah, and they can't see. So okay, Koji has this, like, his um his mine tray bullshit where, like, mm-hmm. he puts it in the lake to find gold or whatever. And he's yeah. using it as, like, Captain America's shield, bro. He's, he's like, blocking the all fuck? the bullets. It reminded yeah. me of that scene from Wonder Woman, the first Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. Where she goes up yeah, there and yeah, she's taking right. all the bullets, but she has the shield out yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Reminded me of that. That's scene. true. So, yeah, he was backing away and stuff and stuff like that. And and, and they said, you know what? Fuck it. We got to go down. He's No, I remember he's like, how many mines are here? Whatever. And the dude's like, we put all of them. All of them? It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, all right, fuck it. And so they finally get rid of those guys where Javi mentioned. They blow up. They said, nah, we need to cross here. Fuck it. We're going to need uh, two people. And they they go back to this truck where they have a bunch of women in this truck. As you guess, man, what they doing, man. Them Nazis are out there, you know, graping them. You know, I don't want to say the R word around YouTube or like for YouTube. But they out there great. We see that in fur, right? We see that like yeah. the dude zipping up his pants. Yeah. The girl's yeah. all like sad. Or Unfortunately. Yeah, right. So... So they go back to that truck with the chicks, you know, and then they tie these two chicks together and they send them in to the mine, like uh, to, to walk in front of them to see if there's any mines in front ahead. of the convoy. Yeah. Right. To see if there's mines ahead and stuff like that. Like that was one instance where I was like, how the fuck are you getting out? 
right? And I think the other instance, um, fuck, what happened? Was it okay? This was when he was in the lake. Was it? Was it this one? Did that happen? The, the part, the part where he's in the lake. Was this after the mine? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. So the next part, right, is so he ends up getting away and he's he hides like by this um like a burned down broken car or yeah. whatever the fuck and he's just resting there and he ends up falling asleep and sure enough the convoy is ready on their on his trail and sure he's hiding and they're passing but he notices a couple of dogs and me when i saw those dogs i'm like it's raps yeah they gonna know where you at like it's raps yep so he, what he did he goes under one of the one of those trucks yeah and he's like dragging himself and to me i'm like wouldn't they see that though like the people in front, like, wouldn't you see like a dude under it, under the yeah. truck dragging, or like the trail that he's leaving? You know what I mean with his feet? Yeah, they were dangling off. I don't or maybe know. because they're well, because their trucks are pretty high up. Like, oh yeah, the, the driver's right, seat. Yeah. Maybe they just can't see that low. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So, so that was happening because he did that to get away from the dogs because the dogs were like on the ground and stuff, and he ends up, you know, um, to stop the convoy or whatever, he ends up stabbing the the fuel tank. And all the gas starts pouring on him and stuff. The dogs, the dogs. I was like, "You're wild." Dude. Yeah, what right. Like, fuck, what, like, what is he doing? Is he putting gasoline in himself? So, and so the the dogs obviously sniff that, and you know, and then they stop. They're like, "Hey, gasoline!" They all stop, whatever. And so he ends up. All right, this is my chance. He ends up running away into the nearest lake, and they all see him. They're all shooting at him and stuff, and they stop shooting. Some weird shit, bro. On the commander's like, fetch me their souls. And releases the dogs <laughs> on some zombie shit. Yeah. Release the dogs. And so this is where I was like, okay, what the fuck just happened? Is as the dogs are going towards him, this dude pulls out a, uh, a match. match and he lights himself on fire. <laughs> yeah. He's on fire, dude. So the dog obviously stays away. He's like, oh shit, I can't bite this, mo- this motherfucker on fire. Yeah. And so as he's on fire, he's running away and obviously they're like oh shit what the fuck they're shooting at him and they're missing whatever and he ends up in the water yeah he jumps in the water i'm like okay that's pretty cool and the commanding officer is like me, i was kind of like what the fuck yeah i mean i was, was kind of like what bro like how do you just light yourself on fire and be fine i mean it would happen pretty fast though like he let him he lit himself on fire and then maybe like for three four seconds he was on fire and then he jumped in the water really yeah quickly. but like i don't know and then like later on we see yeah. him like st- stitching up a wound later so oh, his shirt's yeah. off and it's like not even a burnt bro like what the hell like, hey man he's immortal hey man he's a he's a sisu he's a sisu man what whatever that is about? yeah sisu you know <laughs> well, he, hey all i know is he got white knuckles so he, he must got, be a sisu <laughs> <laughs> he got white knuckles he has courage uh, he has <laughs> he has the courage exactly he has the courage uh, yeah that shit was crazy at that moment bro to me i was like oh no like please don't make this movie like super outrageous <laughs> you know at that moment oh you know what bro would have been really cool yeah i mean this movie is outrageous to a to an extent yes okay like yeah you know, we see True. him throw a whole ass mine and that's fast how do you do that he lights himself on fire and all this shit so like this movie is a bit over the top but it does honestly it's over the top in the sense that it's either it's either over the top because it serves a really cool moment quote unquote yeah. right cool moment like him lighting himself on fire right or it's over the top in the sense that it delivers us a like a really cool scene be it like a gruesome death or something like that That's so true. like when he threw that fucking mind on that person's head yeah you know what i mean and then later on in the movie we see him do other things that's like man that's over the top but like i think what the directors was trying to do was that they understand like audiences will not complain if a movie is over the top or unbelievable yeah. if they're having fun. That's true. You know, like, a lot of the shit that John Wick does is not very believable That's type true. shit. But, like, because we like him kicking ass and taking out dudes with guns at nightclubs where fucking techno music plays, people just kind of, like, give into it. And they're like, you know what, though? It's cool, though. It's cool to watch. Yeah. And that's so, what it was here. And, like, so that was a moment where, like, what the fuck? And then... He was, and this is another part. Like I said, I'm getting to the part where I'm like, "How's he gonna get out of this?" Mm. Where he's in the water, and the commanding officer is like, "Immortal." I thought this was a cool line. He's like, "Immortal or not, he still needs air, or like he still needs to breathe." So he's in the water, holding his breath, mm-hmm. and obviously they send a couple guys down there, and obviously you know he ends up killing those guys. Yeah. But the way he does to keep air is really cool. I don't know if you, I'm sure you caught it. It's like he ends up sl- slashing the throat of one guy, and immediately starts sucking the air that's coming out of him. Yeah. 
And I'm like, that's a badass. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's some weird, like, that's some serious shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? He slices his dude, his throat in the, in, in the, in the water, and he starts sucking the air that's coming out, the bubbles that start coming out of his neck from yeah. the cut. And that's how he's able to stay down there longer. And to me, I'm like, how is he getting out of this? And he finally ends up uh, getting away to where he um, kills two more guys down there. He ends up tying himself. He ends up getting this rope that, that was on that boat. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys gets frightened or something, right? Mm -hmm. He starts rowing away. The commander's like, if you leave, I will shoot. Like yeah. on some Rick Toffman voice type yeah. shit. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. I kind of like those type of accents. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> like Rick Toffman from yeah, Black Ops? Yeah, bro. From Black Ops. I like the, I don't know why, <laughs> man. Like the, the German, like <laughs> the German accent. If you leave, you I don't know how to explain it. It's no, I know what you mean. It's just you know, funny. You know who does the voice for that? Who? Nolan North. Oh, for real? Yeah, the, oh, dude, shit. the dude who does under, uh, Nathan Drake Uncharted. Wow, he I had does no the idea. Voice for Nolan. He does the voice for Rick Toffin. I had no idea. He did a good job. <laughs> I mean, hey. But hey, man. Uh, You're so like, I wish I had that accent. You know, Hector wishes he was Batman with we'll that accent. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad, bro. What the hell? Be like, doom. People want to take me seriously. Doom, doom. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you, Joker? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do it so good, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Javi's actually doing it so good. Fuck. Fuck, what's another, what's another funny line that you can say for Joker? Uh? For say, Batman? Say, they say for Gotham. Say for Gotham. <laughs> like, like, Joker's like, no, Batman, don't kill yeah. me. Be like, for Gotham. For <laughs> <laughs> that sounds for funny. mother Germany. <laughs> for the motherland. For the motherland. No, that shit's funny. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. That shit funny as hell, man. Bro. <laughs> so he ends up escaping that, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And obviously, like, I think from that instance, I'm like, okay, that makes sense, right? Because we learn what Sisu means, mm -hmm. you know? I'm like, okay, clearly that's what's happening to this guy, bro. Later right. on, we see more crazy shit, you know, where they finally end up stealing his gold. Mm. And he was hung. They, they hung him. They yeah. hung his ass. And I asked you how. I'm like, how is he alive? Because mm. they hung his ass, dead ass. Yeah. And they were, like, paying respects. Like, the dude took off his helmet yeah. and, like, whatever. <laughs> they took his gold and shit. They put a piece of gold in his pocket. He's like, for your troubles. Like, yeah. And they walked off. And, like, it's been a good amount of time. I'm like... Half, how is he getting out of this, bro? Yeah. Like, how is he alive, right? And I guess he ends up getting conscious or whatever. And there's like this bolt, like on the side of the pillar, and he ends up, you know, holding himself up. And like, there was like a, this type of screw, and he like, and like he pushes his leg into that screw to hold him up or something, mm -hmm. so he could have more air. Because I guess the leg already had like a gunshot wound, yeah. so there was already a hole. Mm -hmm. So he just punctures this the that like metal bar that, yeah, that man, crowbar fuck, shit like into that. his fucking gun hole just to keep himself upright so that, that shit was crazy so that he can still breathe and stuff like that but to me it's like how do you think he got away with that though like he like how i know you said javi mentioned guys when because I, I asked him at the end, i'm like bro how is he like he's been he's getting hanged how is he not dead right now eh. you said hold his breath but to me i'm like how does it does that even work though if you hold your breath because like you have a rope, like, choking you, bro. Right, right. So, like, how can you hold your breath? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I could look. Maybe, I don't know, guys, in the comments or wherever you're listening, like, let us know. I don't know. Because, like, that's kind of, I don't know how that happened, like, to be honest. You know? <laughs> and sure enough, you know, uh, conveniently, right? I mean, it's a movie, right? A plane starts coming in and, and pretty much knocks down that pole and he ends up falling. Mm -hmm. Right? And he ends up, um, he ends up killing those two guys that were there to refuel their plane with like mm -hmm. gas or whatever. And then we get we cut back to the platoon. They're like, "What is that? <laughs> right? <laughs> what is that in the road? <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. I don't know. He said, do. hear ye, hear ye. I don't ye, know ye. what they do, bro. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, but for sure, hey, what they said in the trailer, if you watch Get Nazis, get fucked up. Yeah. You're going to see that here, man. Right? Fuck the Nazis. Man. Yeah. You're going to see some Nazi killing spree in this bitch. Yes, yeah, facts. And it's pretty... And yeah, some of them were like, oh, shit. Like, like the first the, the first uh, group of Nazis that he ended up fighting, mm. whatever. I thought that was... That was like... 
I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, when he stabbed his whole knife through that dude's dude's head. Did you notice he didn't take the knife out? That's true, right? He just kept it there. I was like, why is he leaving the knife? I would have taken it. But all right. Yeah, hey. It's the Koshi. Hey, 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 he's Sisu. He's Koshi, yeah. What you talking about, cowgirl? Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Hey, let him do his thing. But to be fair, bro, when that... I thought we're going to get more scenes like that. Mm. You know what I mean? With yeah. him, like, wiping out a couple dudes at the same yeah. time. That's what I thought. Yeah, and I think I did, too. Like, yeah. I guess for me, like, I kept hearing people calling this, oh, it's a Finnish version of John Wick. Uh, yeah. I've heard people say it like that. But after watching the movie, I realized that there weren't really a lot of no. him sort of fighting or killing Nazis the way that he did that group of six. It's more so just... Kind of like what you had said to me when we were watching the movie. The movie is more so based like that it's um, it's that he's facing the Nazis and he's like going through all this bullshit, but he's not letting himself die. Yeah, and he's getting through it. Mm-hmm. I think, and so I think the movie, if you look at it from that perspective, not necessarily oh Finland John Wick yeah. against Nazis. It's more so. This guy facing the Nazis and just will not let himself yeah. die. And and I think that's why they put the Sisu meaning in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And if yeah, and it's true when you so look it at makes, it in that perspective, it makes it's sense. a much more enjoyable movie because you know what you're in for. Whereas yeah. with me and Hector, we were kind of a bit underwhelmed in the sense that we were like, I thought we would see more scenes yeah. like that where he'd fuck people up. Yeah, either like a one v six or some shit like that. Or I'd see him use that uh that pitchfork that um his 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 mining oh, yeah, yeah, pitchfork yeah. thing. To, like, do some crazy, like, John Wick fighting shit. But really, then again, like, it's not the same director or writer right. as John Wick. No one even... No, it's not even the same writer-director that worked on any sort of action movie like that yeah. before. So it wouldn't make sense for him to just start whipping out John Wick moves on these Nazis. So I think that's where we felt a little underwhelmed. That's only because we were looking at the movie through different lenses. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if you look at it from that other lens... Yeah, you would enjoy the movie and appreciate it a lot more because you understand the concept. That's true. So that's where I feel like. And like to be honest with you, like yeah, I thought there was gonna be more scenes like that, but either way, like I still liked it a lot. No, for sure, I right? still enjoyed it because. Yeah. Because as I was watching it, I'm like, I'm not really getting the John Wick vibes that people were saying. No, yeah. So like when I finally kind of, it's like more he's like persevering, like all these crazy. Exactly. Bullshit. So yeah. once I kind of made that switch in my mind, I yeah. was able to watch, I was able to appreciate the first half of the movie that I just saw from that lens and then i watched the rest of the movie through that lens and it was just all more enjoyable that's true you know what i mean and then we finally get the first glimpse where like they get freaked out right because when they're like what is that in the middle of the road and it's the fucking plane it's a plane that we saw that like those guys were refueling yeah right and we see one of the persons in it had that rope that was the same rope that they hung him in yeah and the dude's like that's my rope that's the same rope I, i recognize it yeah, I reckon it has it. my initials. Like, your initial nooses, motherfucker? <laughs> For real. Hey, you never know. Wait, let me see. It smells like my rope. Yes, sir. I dip it in I dip it in whiskey. Every night. Every night. <laughs> no, or is it? I think it's, it's like no, I dip I, I dip the nooses in my cologne. For real. So that so that they so they they, they die smelling good. For real. It's like what? <laughs> For it's like, real. Oh, you're killing him. And so at that moment, like, no, we he's dead. It's like, no, that's my rope. Whatever. Yeah. And they, they get freaked out. Like, oh shit. The, the dude the actually because the commander up until now wasn't has Binary. never been scared. Yeah. He's more so like annoyed in the sense of like this motherfucker just does not die. Yeah. But when he finally killed him, he's like, bet. But like now that they see that this dude's fucking rope is on another dead body. Like miles away. <laughs> yeah. Now he's actually like. Oh. All right, like if you notice, he he runs to the tank and gets inside. Yeah. He, he's like, get everyone. Let's get the fuck out of let's here. Let's get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the fuck out. <laughs> and then the two dudes go back in that same truck. We're full of ladies, mm-hmm. right? Which we know, well, we know they're gonna play a big part, right? They're all talking about is like, yo, we had, no, he was dead. All this bullshit. Mm-hmm. And then the, that one lady, I guess she's like the main lady, right? right? The one that actually has lines. Yeah. She ends up explaining. He's like. Basically saying he doesn't give up, he will always be here, blah, blah, blah. You are already dead type shit, mm-hmm. you know? And then the guy's like <laughs> like laughing or whatever, and all of a sudden we hear, <laughs> and it's the dude, one of the other dudes that gets killed by that by that uh, pickaxe. Yeah, pickaxe. You said pitchfork. It was, I'm my fault. Yeah, pitchfork is the shit with the yeah, hay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the, 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 it's the pickaxe. Pickaxe, my fault, my fault, my so, fault. So, uh... And we're like, yo, what the fuck? And then they end up, uh, Sisu 
Fuck, can we call him Sisu or Koshi, bro? Uh, hey, you know what? He Sisu. got white knuckles. He's Sisu. You see, he got white. Fuck it, man. We'll call him Sisu. Sisu, even though we don't see that, <laughs> bro. He never. They never say that oh, word. Yeah. No, nor do you ever hear anyone say it. Like, yeah, like right. in the trailer. Yeah, right. It's just, <laughs> it's just in the trailer. Sisu. But anyways, uh, he ends up get, getting in that truck and ends up giving all these guns to these uh, women, mm-hmm. and we're like, oh shit, we're about to go crazy, mm-hmm. you know. And they come up with this plan where the either, where the women end up um, driving one of the one of the that truck with, that was full of them next to the convoy next to the um, to the other truck yeah next to the truck with all the soldiers or, or yeah and that's where they lift up the the tarp and all of them start raining down on them bro killing them all mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like holy shit bro this is crazy you know what i mean like i thought that was pretty cool but i'm like oh shit yeah they just got them all down and shit yeah like and you can see all the blood splattering like mm-hmm. bro the blood is in here man yeah all the gore is in here dude yeah. you're gonna cringe you're gonna be like oh what the fuck this is dope i, I actually liked it a lot and so after that, fuck, bro, what happened? What happened after that again? Uh, doesn't um, Sisu ends up getting on top of the tank? Yeah. Yeah, right. And he starts, you know, he pulls um, that one guy out, and they start fighting and shit. Yeah, right. They start fighting, but the commander's thing. still inside. And leaves. Like, do we like do, like do we stop? He's like, hell no, I'll keep driving. <laughs> You're like, keep driving. And they just leave him back there. Keep driving. It's like, Under- I told you to go. <laughs> For real. It's because they're waiting. They're going to a plane. Yeah, they're going to a plane. They're meeting to up with someone. Some yeah, shit. they're meeting up with some guy. They're, they're going to fly a plane out. And at this point, we they still have the gold, right? Sisu is chasing after their gold, his gold back. Mm-hmm. And he surprisingly, so as they're fighting, whatever, he's about to kill him with the pickaxe. And then the other car comes in the the motorcycle with the little buggy. Yeah, the yeah. Remember that the, shit? With the side car. Like, is him? Yeah. And uh, I don't know what the fuck Sisu points. The, the pickaxe po- points the pickaxe at, at like your necks yeah like not even say nothing right and the dudes like drop their guns and run away yeah. <laughs> it's like what the <laughs> fuck oh, at that point dude truthfully the guy in the buggy could have gunned his ass down with the machine gun because they're pretty close he could have been like <laughs> gun his ass down yeah, yeah. he would have been dead but whatever i get it you know they're freaked out or scared like all right we out he doesn't <laughs> die and they left him and he ends up leaving that one guy they pulled out a tank, and mm-hmm. he takes the motorcycle, and he's like, all right, bitch, I'm dipping. And he leaves him. And he goes and chases And we're like, what the, the fuck? And then the best part of the movie happens. Oh, no. The best part of the movie happened, Hav. Hav. So as they leave him, right, as, the, as, as Sisu leaves this guy, <laughs> yeah. he's like, oh, I'm safe. I'm safe. He looks to his left, and he sees shadow-like figures. and like, what the fuck? And out of the white smoke, bitch. (laughs) Out of the white smoke. Six women come out. Panorama style. Yeah. uh, Cinematography on point. Six women walking with their guns. Slow motion. To like rock music or something? To rock music, yeah. Like the best. That was my favorite part of the movie. (laughs) Oh my God. I'm going to be like them. Hey, you know what? They're Sisu now. They're Sisu. (laughs) <laughs> uh, but all seriousness, guys, no, that shit was shit. Hey, yo. I I hated that scene, man. And Cause before you, because it was women. Yeah. Cause it was women. <laughs> no, like, no, people, no, if you're gonna take that out of context, I, I was saying this to Hive. Listen, it's not because oh my god, they're women. Oh, like it's women because, can't be badasses, right? Like, oh. shit. like no, bro, it's not that. It's literally they a whole scene of them all walking like they're the avengers like all of all six of them or however right next to each other walking in slow motion shoulder shoulder to shoulder yeah shoulder to shoulder walking in slow motion with rock music coming out of the mist yeah coming over to the guy that sisu left Mm. whatever and it's like that it was just so forced it was really forced and cringy he's like what the fuck like yeah and and, And hector drew comparison to the to the scene that we saw in Endgame, where all the female superheroes yeah, teamed up together to like, fight, you ready, guys? Army. Yeah, and they all pan and shit. All the female right. characters, like, bro, like, that's just, I don't know, that's just cringe as fuck. Uh, right, right. I don't know, man. That was one part of the movie that I was like, because, like why you said, it are feels forced, exactly. doesn't feel natural. Like them, them uplifting the tarp and letting it rain on them, off, dude, cool as fuck. I was like, yo, that shit is fucking raw. Like, yeah, they cool. got to jump on them. Leave it like that, or like right. make them more, make them do other cool shit. But don't do it so forcefully where, like, you put rock music, you have them walk in slow motion, yeah, yeah. shoulder to shoulder, yeah, like, yeah, women yeah, yeah. rule. Like, yeah. fuck you, man. Like, that's just weird. It's just too much, you know? And, like, a lot of people are going to take it out of context. Like, oh, because oh, it's, women, it's women, blah, blah, blah. No. And it's like, no. Like, we've seen... 
female badasses before. You know, take uh, Laurie saying. Strode right in the yeah. in the Hollywood in the Halloween movies. Yeah, she never had a cheesy walk walk out in slow motion <laughs> yeah. scene when facing Michael Myers, but we see her as a badass because. Yeah. Especially in 2018 Halloween, the the one Halloween movie in that trilogy that we liked, um, <laughs> she's like in her backyard training, shooting like doing gun range mm-hmm. shit in her backyard, like practicing her aim and her shooting yeah. with all these different guns because she's like, if Michael Myers ever comes back, it's raps. Like, yeah. So like we see her doing all this shit. She's no longer the scared teenager from the first Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. Like now it's been 40 years and now she's shooting guns and practicing her aim and all that so with that alone you're like oh this girl could take out on her own like she's ready to face michael myers if he ever comes back to this city blah blah, blah, this and that that not enough is like oh like this girl's a fucking badass like you need to have a fourth scene that that's like it's like you might as well have neon flashing lights with arrows pointing at the screen going hey she's a badass look audience she's cool she's a bad and it's like nah man like let the movie speak for itself. Yeah. Don't make it super forced. I think I would have preferred the same similar scene of like a shadow walking from the mist, but rather than all six women. Because let's her. be honest, all the women didn't really serve a purpose. No. They, were, they don't even have lines, but the one girl instead. Should, yeah, that would have been better. Because if I remember correctly earlier, we said that, oh, like we were we were implying that the Nazis were like abusing these women yeah, and, they were and like shit raping. like that. So I think the girl, I think, I believe it wasn't it the girl who had actually spoke, had lines. Mm-hmm. Was she the one that was being victim? I can't remember, bro. Because if it is, then a scene I would have liked would have been her walking out into the walking out of the smoke. Yeah. Not necessarily in slow motion or, or with that music, music playing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe have like a different tone of music and maybe have her walk out with like a gun. Maybe just no music. And just all you hear is the is the footsteps on the on the on the dirt, like, mm. f- f- and he's like, look, he's like, what the fuck? And it's just a figure with a gun, mm. and then we see it's her, and it's her, yeah. And we can have her walk out of the smoke, and she's just like dead eyeing him, like she has a yeah. look on his face, like revenge type of thing, and he's too weak to get up, and blah blah blah, mm-hmm. this and that, and she could just walk up and like points the gun right at his head, and shoots his ass, and then like right as she pulls the trigger, you hear the gunshot, like the gunshot is the is how the 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 scene switches to like where we're at now. Yeah. Where it's like Sisu chasing yep. the tank. That would have been better. Something bro. like that. That would have been better, but no. All six of them shoulder by shoulder rock music. Slow <laughs> motion. <laughs> Cuz women could do it too, Hav. You fucking bitch. Hey man. You sexist bitch. Hey man. But can they take on Goku? Hell nah. <laughs> so they can't do Don't shit. hey, don't take take don't take this out of context. They can't take Goku. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> no, but like, no, yeah, that scene, I that made me cringe, man. And it sucked because like the rest of the movie, I was really liking it a lot. I'm mm. like, yo, the cinematography, everything's cool as fuck. And they add that weird, cringy scene that didn't really fit with the movie. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who cares? Who cares about these characters? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. they just, they, they're not really important. Like mm. you said, one of them kind of is because they she had lines or whatever like cool we built some type of Thing connection yeah. yeah but like everyone else was like what the fuck who are y'all the adventures yeah. like <laughs> what is going on but whatever bro that 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 shit happened but we're back with sisu man driving his motorcycle and, and um the commanding officer with the tank and that other guy they end up getting to the plane right and then right there bro he ends up killing the, the tank driver remember that yeah that was crazy. What'd you think about? It? I'm like, damn, bro, what the fuck? He just you shoots a him bitch? out of nowhere. Yeah, he shoots him out of nowhere. Yeah, what a bitch. And there he goes with the pilot on the on the plane on this huge plane with like mm-hmm. a fucking bomb in it and shit. Yeah. Sorry if you hear background noise, guys. If you hear Mexican music, Spanish music. <laughs> it's a busy day. It's a busy. It's a busy day. It's a busy day. Hey man. man, hopefully we don't get copyrighted. Low key, right? Nah, hopefully we won't. We won't. We won't. We we'll just talk. It's not that. It's not that loud. Oh, okay. No, we should be good. But uh, so that so okay so so as the plane is launching off right, Sisu with the motorcycle is going straight ahead. Yeah. Right. He's like, "Yo, I'm getting your ass," and the and the dude is like freaking out. He's like, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" Mm-hmm. And all you see is Sisu fucking like grabs his pickaxe, and he starts screaming. Rah! Yeah. And he ends up getting hooked on the plane. <laughs> This is a uncharted shit. I'm yeah, like, I made the same connection. I'm like, man. what the fuck is going on? Yeah, here? I'm like, this dude has some uncharted shit, you know. And the and then the commander's like freaking out. He's like, yo, did you hear, did you hear that? Did you, oh, fuck, how do you say it? Did you hear that? 
I can't say it. Can you do it? I don't know if I can. Come on, bitch. Did you hear that? Fuck. He's like, it's just fuck. <laughs> it's, it's just an old plane. It's an it's old just, plane. It's, it's just an. It's, it's just an old plane. For real, it's an old plane. And then, and then fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Nine, nine, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> then they but, uh, see the picture. They go, it's a rat. It's a rat. <laughs> fuck. There's no gold up here. Leave. <laughs> Only silver. <laughs> Only silver. <laughs> Come up if you want to get full of you want to get a face full of lead. <laughs> hey man, hey man, imagine Germans talking hood, bro. It's a rat. Bro. <laughs> spin the black. I spin the black. I spin the black with this glack. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, anyways, okay, so okay, so we find Sisu ends up getting on that plane, and we're like, yeah. oh shit, it's the fucking. Oh, but I forgot to mention. As fucking Sisu is like going straight head to the plane, he's like shooting his MP4, like MP mm. MP40, MP40, and he ends up striking the pilot like on the neck area. The neck. And he's like, "Fuck!" Like I'm, I got hurt really bad. And the commander's like, "If you could f- focus on flying the fucking plane, bitch, or whatever." And so that's so that's what happened. And they end up, we get this final showdown. And to me personally, I was saying this to have, like, to me, I thought it was kind of underwhelming because, mm. like, th- essentially, Sisu gets his ass whooped in this bitch. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, really badly by this guy. You know? And I figured it was going to be, like, one of those typical movies where, like, the guy gets fucked up, right? Like, we see, like, Spider-Man gets fucked up. And then we're like, oh, no, he's losing. Uh, mm-hmm. Right? And then he ends up, like, kickstart, fuck you, bitch. Starts kicking and ass. And just comes back. Yeah, comes back kicking ass. That's not what happened here. No. And Javi made the, made it to where, like, uh, fuck, what was your argument again when I said this? Uh, For me, I, yeah. <clears throat> so I basically said what I had said earlier were, like, I had a, I had it in my mind that I knew that this was not a John Wick-esque movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more so just him persevering through all the shit that he had gone through. So for him to, like, to be constantly getting fucking hit and punched and, and he was even getting hit with that buckle thing. Yeah, that, that that like buckle that metal shit that was getting hit in his face over and over again. Like for me, I just kind of took it as like, you know, he kept getting his fucking ass whooped, but then he kept lifting up his head. Yeah, and it's and then even the guy was like, "Why don't you just like as die? he's hitting him right? Like why yeah. would you die? Why? Yeah, you die. Oh, yeah, I can't make that accent. <laughs> <laughs> but like but. that's why for me, even though I will admit like. They were more so not even doing a lot of, like, in the beginning, like, they were more so just pushing each other, like, kind of tossing each other around yeah. in the back. So, like, even then, it didn't feel like a boss fight. Right. But uh, I liked it better when the guy was kicking his ass, and he was just getting up from it, because it was just showing, oh, Sisu, right? Like, oh, like, he's persevering. He doesn't, right. He's, 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 he has, you know, the courage and, like, all yeah. that stuff. So, I kind of liked that, but I will admit, when it first started, when they were just kind of pushing each other, mm-hmm. they're tripping over shit, and they're tossing each other no, over. I mean... I would have liked it maybe a little more. I mean, I get punch, punch. Yeah, I, like that's what it is, right? Like, I completely get it. Like him getting back up and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it like, could have been too, where like him getting back up and finally kicking his ass. That's mm-hmm. him persevering. And I guess my arguments, my counter argument to that with Hive, I mean, let me know what you guys think, is like, I didn't really think it was believable because the first, the, the second uh, group of Nazis that we see, it's a 1v6, mm-hmm. and these guys had guns and shooting and stuff. He ends up killing them all. Mm hmm. You know, he ends up going berserk and kills them all. And then with this 1v1, it's like he can't even get a couple licks in because, like, he doesn't even punch the guy yeah. a couple times in the face. He doesn't even do that. Right. And it's like, well, you couldn't even get a couple punches in, but you could you could do a 1v6, but you can't clutch a 1v1. Yeah. It's like, to me, it was just not believable in a sense. I get it. Oh, he's getting back up. But it could also have been, like, he getting back up and fully persevering by fucking whooping his ass mm. and him, like, taking taking uh that buckle thing and beating his ass with it mm. and then that's when he could have clipped him to the bomb thing and then you know what i mean yeah but no we didn't get that like essentially like he sees was out getting his ass beat and he's about to get hit with the buckle and like i mentioned before there's this bomb thing inside the plane he ends up grabbing the buckle and like and clipping it to the bomb mm-hmm. and he releases the bomb and the bomb as it's falling it drags the fucking commanding officer yeah. Down and to the like, ground. Yeah, and then I thought it was kind of funny. As he was falling, he's looking at the plane. He's like, "Fuck you!" And, and he flicks, he's, it flicks off. them off. <laughs> to me, I was like, "Okay, that's funny," but to, but yeah, like I think that was my only issue, man. Is that is that is that scene with the chicks, and then this part where like I get it and I do understand what you're saying, Hive, but I just thought like 
it wasn't necessarily believable, bro. Like, if you can't do a 1v1, don't show me a 1v6 with dudes with guns. Mm. And they were, like, further distance. Because mm. right here, they were close range. Yeah. The other guys were further distance with guns, and he still managed to fucking clutch a 1v6. Yeah. So, like, you know what I mean? That's just my issue, personally. So, I don't know, guys. If you guys seen the movie, like, let me go know what you guys think. Or, I guess, by us describing it, right? If you haven't seen the movie, you just don't care about spoilers. Let us let us know what you guys think. Um, but after that, right? All of a sudden, CeCe was like, you know, chilling and stuff. Then he sees a bottle rolling towards him. He's like, oh, shit, the plane's going down. That's because the pilot like, yeah, bled that we, out. Yeah, that we mentioned before, bled the fuck out. And the, and the plane's going down. And CeCe was like, oh, shit. He grabs his gold. There's no parachutes. He's like, fuck it. He just buckles up. <laughs> brace for impact and to me i, I was like all right man like well, that was me that was for me like come on bro. come on man this, this plane is 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 plummeting like, to the earth bro it's not even like a gradual like decline right. it's like a plummet straight it down it was nose down it was no <laughs> it was nose down bro blows the fuck up Guess it what? actually did not blow up oh you're right it didn't, it didn't blow even up. explode it just crashed and i bet you that was the movie's explanation for being like though that's why that's why he lived yeah see so like that's why he <laughs> Sisu, Sisu, and he just comes up. <laughs> it's a night of the living dead. His hand comes out the dirt. Yeah, the pickaxe, for real. and he pulls himself out of the dirt and shit. And surprisingly, he still had his gold wrapped around. And like, I was like, bro, <laughs> this motherfucker, like. But here's the thing, like, you also gotta remember, like, with no parachute or nothing, he just like grabs a bunch of these like nearby seatbelt straps, yeah, straps shits, straps, yeah. and just straps himself against the wall. And I'm like, nah, bro. Like, yeah. If you're just like, how the fuck, like. How's that going cushioning the fall? Like, what the fuck? It are you ain't, doing? bro. I don't know, man. I guess. And and it was the, uh, it was by the, the cockpit mm. where he strapped himself. So mm-hmm. that's the first part that gets that it's contact. Yeah. So I, I think that would be worse, wouldn't it? In, instead of you were like in the back, bro. The fact that the plane plummeted, plummeted is worse. <laughs> yeah. And he like, but hey, and he lived. Hey, man, but it's Sisu. Hey, man, it's white Sisu. knuckles. Hey, what not? Knuck- hey, what do, what do you see coming out of the dirt? <laughs> White knuckles. White knuckles. <laughs> and he pulls himself out of the dirt. Everything else is bloody, but like his knuckles but are his white. But his knuckles stay clean. His knuckles. <laughs> That's ironic, huh? Yeah, and with all right. these punching, all these killing. Yeah, right. Hey, but my knuckles are clean, though. Clean knuckles, bro. What you talking about? But that's what happened. And we're like, you know, at that point, obviously, like, at that point, Javi and I, like, we understood, like, okay, it's, like, it's kind of a little bit ridiculous. He's getting out of these t- type of things. Yes, I thought of, okay, what the fuck? But then I was like, you know what? I get it. You know, he's... All this bullshit that he was able to persevere and get out of, I get it, right? Mm. And so he finally gets out of it, and he goes to the nearest uh, town, and that town's fucked up. To mm-hmm. me, I thought it was abandoned, bro. Yeah. Like, it, that town looked abandoned. Like, you see the buildings falling off, like some burning, whatever, and like, yeah. fucked up with the bombs. But yep. no, it looks like a normal society. Like, it's still running. <laughs> it's still running. So he goes to the bank. Everybody's looking at him. Yo, what the fuck? is that back and shit. Like, yo. What the- He's covered in cuts, bruises, blood, dirt. Yeah, dude. And he, uh, oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. But we'll talk, oh, you know what? I just let me cut right here real quick. That's another thing I wanted to mention in the beginning of the movie where I said they show us instead of telling us. Remember, he was taking a shower. We see they show us no speaking, no narration. We see these cuts and stuff, mm. and then that tells us, holy shit, this dude like went through some serious shit. Yeah. Whether it's the war, or, like something. Mm-hmm. That's another thing I really, I really like that about the movie, bro. And the fact that he didn't really talk that much and stuff and. Not only that, the, the cinematography as well. Remember mm-hmm. when, like, he was crossing the... I, f- I forgot where it was, bro. But, like, uh, there was, like, fire in the background with him. And then all you saw was his silhouette. And, like, he was just walking towards... I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's great camera work, man. I really like the colors and everything. And the and the movie was, like, divided in, like, chapters. Mm-hmm. You remember? What'd you think of... What do you think about that? And then we'll cut back to the bank part. So, I thought the chapters were going to be per act. Mm-hmm. Like how there's okay. three acts to a movie. I'd be like, gotcha. okay, this is the first chapter, the act, the first act, I guess. And then there's going to be a second chapter, second act. Then the third act would be the final chapter. Yeah. But we got like, what, seven different chapters? I think so, yeah. It was like first, like, but I get it, right? Because I thought it was kind of cool that they were using chapters to explain what was going on in the movie. Mm-hmm. Like chapter one was the gold, mm-hmm. which shows him that he's mining for gold and he makes no progress. He doesn't find anything until he finally strikes gold. Yeah. And then he packs it all up and he's walking, but then he sees the convoy and he's like, oh shit. Chip and that's two. when chapter two was the, the Nazis. Nazis. So then like, and then like, then chapter three was the minefield. So like, I liked that the chapters were kind of breaking down what every, every situation was. Yeah. And then like the second to last chapter, I think it was six was kill them all, which was when we see 
you know, Sisu Kilimanjaro. All, yeah, I would have named it that. <laughs> I would have named it that. Kilimanjaro. Yeah. But it's, that's where we see like the, all those women and Sisu killing yeah. off all these Nazis and shit yeah. like that. And surprisingly, we don't get a name for the last chapter. They just call it the final chapter, and that's when yeah. he pulls himself out of the dirt. But mm-hmm. I mean, I like the idea of them adding chapters. I just yeah. thought it was going to be a chapter per act. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, yeah, but I liked it as well. But uh, anyways, we get back to the bank. Everybody's like looking at him crazy. What the fuck? He goes on. T- he goes in front of the bank teller and he just empties out his fucking pockets, and it's all gold. And then he finally talks. This is the first time we hear him talk. That we hear him speak, and it's at the end of the movie. What does he say again? Uh, he says a hundred uh, bills, a lot of bills, or some shit. He said like only big bills. Only big bills. So yeah. like only like well, this is Finland, right? But like in, again, in dollars, he would be like oh, only hundreds. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. probably what he's talking about. And then I forget what his last line was. He exactly. said it'd be it'd be easier to carry. Well, something like that. Like right? something like that. Like it'll be easier to carry. Something like that. And then Cecil, and it just ends. <laughs> well, okay, the Cecil part doesn't happen, but it just ends like oh, big bills only. Yeah, it's harder to carry or some shit, or easy to carry, and that's pretty much it. And that's the first time we hear him speak. Yeah, like the rest of oh, the entire movie, not him speaking. And I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's like some Master Chief type shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if I could find what the line was. Okay, well let me know when uh, when you find it. But but yeah, guys, that's pretty much how it ends, man. And and th- like once you under like what Javi was saying, once you understand like the real meaning about it. You're going to enjoy this movie a lot more. And if you have this notion where it's like it's like John Wick, crazy action, him taking on a lot of people, it's definitely not that. It's definitely him just persevering at where the odds are against him and him just coming out on top, bro. Just like how Javi likes to come on top. Hey, yo. And so we definitely. <laughs> hey, yo, pause, girl. What the hell? What? Mario ain't here to make, what these, I, make these jokes, bro. What did I say, bro? What you talking about? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What you said? I'm on top and shit. I didn't say that. Do you find the line or what? No, I can't. Okay, well, I didn't say anything about you, bro. Like, <laughs> you, what? You, what? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. Hey, yo, Luis, bro, did you hear anything? About you? <laughs> hey, shout out to Luis, bro. Luis, did you did hear you any questions shit? or anything? No, I didn't do it. Oh, did. No, well, did. did we have any? Or? No, I didn't. Oh, no, okay. No, okay. No questions. Uh, but, but yeah, I didn't say nothing about you, bro. You good? <laughs> like, what the heck? All right, okay. But uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty. Much, yeah, so like, if you have that um, like uh, uh, thought, like, oh, it's like John Wick. It's definitely not that, man. But uh, it's still a really fun movie, man. Mm-hmm. It's still really cool. I like, and like I said, the begin. I think the the beginning of the movie, bro. I really liked a lot, dude. And him explaining the backstory, like one of the chapters was the legend. Yeah, and it was describing that's him, they were right? Describing his backstory. He's, like, he's immortal. All they call him Koshi because he never dies or like yeah. whatever. That shit was so badass, man. Especially John Wick, and so and not like John Wick, uh, the dog lives. Hey, yo. We forgot to mention the dog. That's facts. Well, that's because the dog was more so yeah. like a little side character. Yeah, thing. and like the dog for some reason always ends up finding him. Yeah, like you know what I mean? It's like he's, what the fuck? She, and the, we we last see the dog stay back when he was hanged. Then oh he goes yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. he goes and flies that fucking plane, kills the mm-hmm. Nazi and everything with that whole plane situation. That's true. That's true. And then all of a sudden he's driving back to the town with the uh, with the uh, with the dog, and it's like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not. Like, how did that? Hey, man, whatever, man. Cecil, Cecil. <laughs> you know, but, but but speaking of that dog, man, I that dog looks cute, man. I want a dog like that. Yeah. Yeah, I want a dog like a little partner, bro. A little partner dog like that. While you're pumping your gains and shit. <laughs> pumping my gains like you're like you're like on your back right and okay. like while you're like pumping your arms and shit like your dog's right here on your chest he's just chilling there like yeah right he's just chilling while you're just like <laughs> i don't know man it's like a little best friend yeah i mean it's like a little or it would be friend. like one of those things where like if you're ever like doing squats or something mm-hmm. as a workout he's on your back he's just like keeping his balance on your back like right here right, be- right behind your neck wait if i'm doing squat oh squats, like, squats. You're like, yeah, or, yeah, no yeah, yeah. um better said push-ups Oh, push just on your back and yeah. you're just sitting there. <laughs> the extra weight. Yeah, you're just like, <sighs> the extra like thanks, thanks, pal. Yeah, the extra just, seven pounds or whatever. Yeah, much I that guess. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what breed that dog is, man. It's a cool dog. It, uh, hopefully it's, uh, yeah, I, I want a dog like that. 
uh, like a little partner, bro, a little partner in crime. You know, we both killing Nazis and shit. You know, be crazy yo. if the yo, you, you it would be crazy if the dog was killing Nazis. That would have been cool. <laughs> like the dog ends up killing Nazis. Are you finding it? Right I'm now? trying to look it up. What the breed of the dog? Eh, it's not gonna give me it. It's whatever. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, Hav, do you want to give? I mean, I guess we could get to our ratings now. Like, what do you? Uh, let's go with your rating, Hav. Final thoughts. Your rating. Um, like, like I said, I think this movie would be more enjoyable if you saw it from the perspective that's not. Oh, Finland, John Wick, but more so like, oh, this guy is the embodiment of Sisu, which is, you know, the perseverance of not of like, you know, not dying and and enduring all this, all this stuff through courage and, you know, shit like that. And as long as you watch it from that perspective, I feel like you'd enjoy the movie a lot more. But um, with that being said, I feel like, you know, as much as I liked the movie, I thought it was a bit over the top, but acceptable to where it was because like you kind of fall into it and you have fun with the movie with all its gore and everything like that um i enjoyed it i kind of liked the 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 charm of it and stuff like that and um i mean that's really all i got to say okay what would you rate it i would probably give this movie a strong like seven seven i'd give it a seven a seven yeah i think uh i think i you know I, I think I might have enjoyed it a little bit more than you, mm. but like I said, I might like give it a seven and a half. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll give it like another half a half a point, I guess. I, think, I really did enjoy it. I think I would give it an eight, man. An eight? I think it's an eight, man. Cool. I liked it. I thought it was a great movie. Besides, uh, besides that one scene with the chicks, man, like, that was crazy. That Without was, it, that was, though, that was weird. That was cringe. Huh? Without that scene, though, <sighs> it's a ten. Damn, it's eleven. Fuck women. Hey yo, hey yo, what do you say? <laughs> What'd you say, bro? That was you. No, oh, what you talking about? That was you. I ain't, no, I don't know what you're talking about. What you talking about, Hector? No, that scene was just cringy, man. I'm going to just be real. Uh, no, but no, I think like well, even without that scene. Actually, okay, if that did that scene better, maybe, motherfucker, just scrap it. And they did the f- ending better, mm. like the uh, like the fight where the I, it was fight. more believable. Mm. Where like he actually like, he finally gets up, right? He's like, oh, like I'm getting beat up, but like he, I'm not dying. Yeah, mm. Sisu. But what's also Sisu is like, I ain't dying. Starts blocking his yeah. shit, starts beating his ass, and he clips his ass to the bomb. Yeah, I think that that alone, if they fix that part for me, where it was like more believable, mm. nine. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. But because of that, I don't know. I was just eh, like, come on, man. But whatever. It's still a great movie, man. I still recommend you guys go check it out, dude. It's it's still a really well done movie. The gore is dope. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I would give it. Yeah, I would give it an eight. And I said seven point five. Said, yeah, okay, Let's change it up. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna be our review for Cecil. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, remember, don't let you pass on to you guys. Take care. See ya.